Good morning. Yeah, I know you can't see me because it's oh dark 30. I was just, um, well, interesting night. I got tired last night. I was driving in the dark for about an hour or so, which is, oh my God, I swear to God, I'm blind as a bat in the dark, plus windy roads up by the coast. So I pull over in this town and unfamiliar with it. Beautiful drive though. Oh my God. But it's inland a little. Salinas. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows it. Anyway, so I text my mom and sister, you know, tell them I'm here, safe, going to bed, blah, 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 getting up in the morning to continue on to the Redwoods and Santa Cruz and all that. And um, I Google where I am. Like, hey, maybe there's something fun I can do here tomorrow before I leave. Uh, yeah, no. It's like one of the most uh, dangerous, highest crime rate cities in the country. I'm like, okay. And where I pulled over, it was just like, you know, randomly off the highway in some kind of little neighborhood, um, typically where I try to do it, you know, around houses. Not ideal, looked shady. I was, like I said, I could not keep driving. Well, about three o'clock this morning, I wake up um, totally comfy in bed. And I just can't sleep. And I don't know why. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm totally tired. I'm just laying there. I'm laying there. And I'm like, okay, maybe the sun's going to come up soon. I could start driving again, get to the ocean, and watch the, well, reverse sunrise. And um, sure enough, after about 20 minutes, lights, bright lights pull up behind me. Just white lights. I peek out my window. I'm like, okay, I can't tell because I'm blinded got to be a cop. I know the drill. Sure enough, somebody <laughs> called and reported me just like parked in front of their house because such a threat to society. Oh my God. Me with my orange beach cruiser bicycle on the back of my van. Um, and my rubber ducky in the front window. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Blows my mind. So, um, anyway, give the cops my paperwork, all that jazz. Super cool guys. They were so nice. Um, like crazy nice. They were like, you're alone? I said, yeah, you should get a dog. Yeah, well, they're a lot of work and I travel and I, you know, when I have a job, keeping them in here is not humane. I would never do that, blah, blah, blah. So then I told him about my Google and he's like, um, yeah. He goes, uh, Salinas is a nice town, has the potential to be, but for some reason it attracts violence. And that was his word that he used, violence. And I said, that's really bizarre. Why do you think that is? And he goes, I don't know. I really don't know. It's such a shame because it's a beautiful area. And I said, yeah, driving in here, I was really impressed. Um, it like, looked like Ireland, like totally green, gorgeous. And I said, well, you must be really uh, brave. I mean, to be on the police force working in a place like this, I couldn't do it. I said, good for you. And he goes, oh, I love my job. We have so much fun. <laughs> it was hilarious. But anyway, cool guys. Um, so I drove about 15 minutes to Moss Landing. And here I am waiting for the sun to rise, listening to tugboats. And I can hear birds squawking. But I can't see shit. <laughs> so who knows where the day will take me. Anyway, peace.